heat, application of conductors, insulators and radiation. All warm substances continuously emit heat as radiation. This radiated heat falls on different substances. Some of it is reflected and some of it is absorbed. When a body absorbs heat, its temperature rises. Certain types of materials absorb heat more than others. Do you remember why certain things look black? If you remember, a black body is that which absorbs all the light that falls on it. A black body does not reflect any light. A black body also is a very good absorber of heat. Black absorbs the most heat and it's already so hot. That's why we do not wear black clothes in the summer. Do you remember why certain things look white? If you remember, a white body is that which reflects all the light that falls on it. A white body does not absorb any light. A white body also is a very poor absorber of heat. That's why we wear white clothes in the summer. White reflects most of the heat and it helps keep us cool. The Arabs are people who live in the very hot deserts of Eastern Asia. What should the color of their clothes be? White. What colored clothes should cricketers wear when they have to play a test match for five days in the sun? White. A solar cooker is a vessel that absorbs the heat of the sun and uses it to cook food. What should the color of a solar cooker be? Black. If you don't want your car to heat up too much in the sun, what color should it be? White. What did we just learn? All substances continuously emit heat in the form of radiation. Substances absorb heat all the time too. Black substances absorb more heat than white substances. If a substance loses heat, it becomes cooler. If a substance absorbs heat, it becomes warmer. What can we do if we want to keep a hot substance hot and a cold substance cold? Basically, we need to do something so that the heat of the body is not lost and the body cannot absorb heat from anywhere else. So we need to keep the body in a kind of container which will not allow inside heat to go out and outside heat to come in. We need to enclose the body in a bad conductor of heat. A thermos is one such container. If we want to carry hot tea or coffee, we usually carry it in a thermos. A thermos keeps hot liquids hot and cold liquids cold. Let us see how a thermos works. For that, we need to understand how a thermos is made. Two glass bottles are fitted one inside the other. Glass is a bad conductor of heat, so that is good to begin with. Vacuum is created in the gap between the two bottles. So, even if heat does go through the glass bottles, it cannot escape by conduction or convection. The surface of the glass bottles is made shiny. This reflects most of the heat and keeps inside heat in and outside heat out. It also reduces heat loss due to radiation. The space between the glass bottles and the outer case of the thermos is filled with some other bad conductor of heat. This again prevents inside heat from escaping and outside heat from entering. The lid of the thermos also is made of some bad conductor of heat. 
the combination of a vacuum, bad conductors of heat and the silvering greatly reduces heat transfer by convection, conduction and radiation. So, why do hot things in a thermos ever cool down? That is because the heat loss is reduced, but we cannot make it zero. Does the thermos know whether the fluid inside it is hot or cold? All the thermos is doing is limiting heat transfer through the walls of the thermos. That lets the fluid inside the thermos keep its temperature nearly constant for a long period of time whether the temperature is hot or cold. Can you now say why woolen clothes keep us warm in winter? Wool is a poor conductor of heat, so it doesn't allow your body heat to quickly escape into the air. Also, wool has air trapped in it. Air is a bad conductor of heat too, so again that traps your body heat too. Now, make a choice. It's very cold and you can either have one thick blanket or two thinner blankets. What will you choose to keep warm? The two thinner blankets because there will be a layer of air between them. Remember, layers keep you warmer. So, if you are going trekking in the Himalayas, you can just wear more clothes on top of each other and not carry heavy bulky sweaters. Understanding science is useful, isn't it? What did we just learn? A thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. A thermos is made of bad conductors of heat to prevent loss or heat gain by conduction. The inner surface is shiny to prevent heat loss or heat gain by radiation. That is the reason the temperature of substances placed in the thermos flask does not change for a long time. Wool and air are bad conductors of heat. Therefore, woolen clothes and layers of clothes keep us warm.